Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here we are, 32 here, bringing you guys <coughs> excuse me, a new video. Um, this uh, before I even jump into the video, there's some stuff that I want to cover. I know my hair looks like crap. Get over it. And if you're gonna be a troll about, then screw you. <laughs> um, I really just need to get this crap on out of the way. I sell this Archer Lord Crucio for sale. Uh, secret rare, unlimited, perfect condition. If you guys want, it, send me a message. Um. 2010 T Maximus, I still haven't received your stuff in the mail. Today is Wednesday, and if you're watching this video, it's probably Thursday, which is one day after the making of this video. So, if I don't receive your stuff in the mail by tomorrow, then I'm just going to sell these potted dualities at locals, unless somebody else wants them, because I haven't received your crap, and it's kind of pissing me off i don't know if something went wrong with the mail or what but i haven't gotten it in the mail it's been about a couple weeks since i made the deal so if you're just trying to screw me over by saying yeah it's a deal and then you never send well then thanks for ripping me over so um yeah and if i'm totally wrong then i apologize but i haven't received it in the mail so i have to assume the worst and yeah so if you guys want these potty dualities perfect condition secret rare i want 80 bucks for them both or 75 a piece Someone's gonna probably be like, oh, well, what do you do peace for and then not send. So I'm just gonna probably sell them to locals unless it's somebody by the time this video goes up uh, responds. And yeah, so let's jump into this video. I'm not pissed off or anything, and this isn't really a rant, but I'm also gonna be talking about my balance prediction of what I think is gonna happen. I've been, um, also, I apologize for no videos, I think, if I didn't already mention that, I'm pretty tired because uh, I went to Blizzard Beach. Uh, two days ago, today I went to the Dave and Buskers. If you never heard of that place, don't worry about it. It's just this really cool restaurant. And, uh, yeah, just, I'm, I'm getting off topic. Anyways, so, about the ban list. Let's start with this fodder material. <laughs> and by fodder material, I mean the meta. So, yeah, um, I've been, uh, looking at the meta lately. I'm looking at some of the top decks. As you know, TG's, TG Tengu won, uh, Nationals. Uh, Tengu Sinker came in the second place. Everybody's saying, and this is where part of my rant comes in, everybody's saying that Tengu is going to get hit. Well, for you morons that don't know, Tengu is a TG exclusive. That means it won't get hit on ban list. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, now, what I'm saying is, if you already know that, then you will know that Tengu is more than likely not going to get hit. It might go down to two, but it's definitely not going down to one. Think about it. Tengu, you have to search out another copy if you have another copy. It's completely useless at one. Like, you could just... I don't have a Tengu on me. But take this card, for example, as Tengu. And they put it at one, just throw it across the room. That's all you gotta do. Cut. It's, it's garbage. It won't even be worth anything. It'll be a super rare that is completely garbage. So they might put it at two. They might, but but uh, not Konami. But Japan doesn't have it yet. The same thing with Dark Soul. Everybody thought Dark Soul was gonna get hit. Did it get hit? No, because it's a TCG exclusive card. So that's why Dark Soul didn't get hit. Tengu probably won't get hit. Now, as for the collector stins coming out, and that's why I'm trying. Honestly, I'm I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. That's why I'm trying to sell these. Boom, and boom, because the collector's tins are coming out, and I spent money on these puppies, and I'm trying to get rid of them, and if someone doesn't respond by this coming Saturday, if they want them, I'm just going to sell them to the locals, and I probably will, so, uh, yeah, um, sorry, I'm just really tired, but, and that extends the whole hair issue, anyway, I'm getting off topic, so, if you look at the collector's tins, the cards that are getting reprinted, if you look at it, Almost every single secret rare, even the legendary, oh my god, the freaking legendary collections. Like, they're practic not practically, <laughs> practically reprinting every single card that came out before Exceeds came out. They're reprinting every single Glad card as super rares. That just makes the deck go up by at least 75 bucks. And they're reprinting Geysaurus, so I might sell my entire Glider Beast deck, I doubt it though. And I think... I think they're reprinting guys are. I could be wrong about that. But I know they're reprinting Herc and Ezra Deal. I'm pretty sure about Ezra Deal. I'm not sure about guys are, but I know for a fact they're reprinting Herc, Herc, Heraclinus, and um, Ezra Deal. 
And anyways, that's beside the point. But yet, then, um, you can get all three Dark Lord prize cards, and they're basically useless. I mean, they're just good for prize cards. And I doubt they're gonna get hit on a ban list. That's why you gotta break down the meta. So, like, let's take for example, let's let's start off with the collector skins before we even get into legendary collection. I might even make a part two to this video because this video is gonna probably be a 15 minute long video. <laughs> now, if you look at the legendary collection, you will see that almost every secret rare that has recently been released or that is top tier has just been reprinted. It's like, what the f, Konami? Are you trying to screw us over? Pure went off. Anyways, so like Pot of Duality, Dark Signboard, um, Elemental Hero Gaia. The prices have just dramatically dropped. Elemental Hero Gaia is thirty. Nope, it's five bucks. Pot of Duality. Nope, five bucks. Maybe ten. Dark Signboard was seventy. Nope, ten bucks. I mean, that's honestly what it's going to be. Now, if you look way back at the Turbo Packs, when Crush Card was reprinted as a rare. As soon as that got reprinted, it got banned. Now, maybe, maybe in the not same situation for Pot of Duality, but I just commented on someone's video, and I was saying, because um, I, I named the time period, and I said, I see what you mean, but yeah, look at Pot of Duality and Crush Card Virus. When Crush Card Virus got reprinted, it got banned. Pot of Duality, maybe not this exact same scenario, but yet, it's getting reprinted, and Konami has already made all their money, so... They're, they might put it down to two. Just it, It's splashable in any deck, really. Like, like you could splash it into... You could splash it into a beatdown deck. You know? It's splashable in any deck, just like Raikou. You know? Like, like I know that Monster is spells are different, but still. And um, I'll be getting to Raikou in a minute. Believe me, I'll be getting to Raikou in a minute. And, um... You know, Pot of Duality, it, it might go down to two. I doubt it would go down to one. So, that's why I'm trying to sell my copies, because I'm going to be obviously picking up those collector's tins, and I need the money. And if you guys don't want to support me, fine, I'll just close down my YouTube, because I'm honestly, I'm tired of this BS. I'm tired of people screwing me over, not, um, sending the crap in after I said them to. You know, I, I can even tell you the trade between me and 2010 Team Maximus, and if he wants to rage over it, I'm sorry, 20, uh, Team Maximus, because I haven't received your stuff yet. And if I'm totally blowing this, like, out of the blue, like, I don't know my information right I'm sorry, but I have not yet received your stuff, and I have to assume the worst in this kind of situation. Now, the thing is, uh, the trade was, he gives me 80 bucks, a Dark Hole Super Rare Original, and a Forbidden Lance. And I give him the two pot of duals, and he also won my Christian. So I'm like, okay, okay, let's let's deal with this, and then you can send me, um, then, you know, we can discuss the trade for the Christians. So, uh, a couple days later, I sent him a message, and... You know, just saying, you know, where's the stuff, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this is going off track, but basically, he hasn't contacted me back. And so, I have to assume the worst that he's trying to screw me over. So, maybe he's a scammer, maybe he's not. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, back to the topic at hand. Uh, Di Dark Cymorg, it's not really seeing a lot of play. Maybe in Disaster Dragons, it's seeing some play. I don't keep up with Disaster Dragons because it's not Tier 1, and you know me. I keep up with the meta, and I like to try to think of some good deck ideas from Japan and try them out. So, yeah, and, um, sorry, I'm really tired, like I said, um, Dark Summer, it might go down to two just because it's getting reprinted, I really don't know. Christia is already at one, I really don't think it's going to get hit, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to go up to two or three, I doubt it would go up to two or three, it just wouldn't make any sense, you know? It would just make the Herald of Perfection deck even better, and Herald of Perfection, I mean, it won maybe one or two tournaments in Japan. That's it. They might put Harold down to two. I doubt it, because it's not getting reprinted. And, you know, people are trying to buy up Harold to make the deck, so, you know, if they put it down to two, Konami's not going to make as much money. You know, it's all about economics. you got to put economics when you're thinking about a ban list. You know, you can't just be a rager and be like, Oh, this card's getting bad. This card's going down to one. You know, you gotta, you got to take the time to just, okay, here's the meta, process it, think about it, and be like, okay, I think this is going to get hit, this will not get hit, this might go up to two or three, you know, you see what I'm saying? So, like, you really have to process it, not just automatically, oh, this card's going to one, this card's going to three, you know, you, you gotta, you just gotta sit back for a moment, just kind of calm down and chill, and just be like, okay, this card, you know, might, this might happen to it, you know, that's, that's what I did, and, um, like, 
for example, like the TG deck, I don't think the TG deck's going to get hit at all. Has it done bullcrap in Japan? You know, Tangu might go down to two, but I highly doubt it. It's going to probably stay at three. We'll go into another format with Tangu. Just exact same thing with Light Swarms. Look back, look back at the Light Swarm format. We had Light Swarms for two formats at full power, and everybody thought that they were going to get hit that first banlist. But the problem being was, Japan didn't have charge of the Light Brigade then yet. So, they weren't doing, Light Swarms weren't doing as, bleh, I cannot talk. Light Swarms were not doing as well there as they were here. So we went into another format of Light Sworn Domination, and it, it, it was not funny. Light Sworns literally won everything. Every, oops, my computer went off. Regionals. YCSs. Or I think at the time they were showing jumps. But you get what I mean. Uh, I think they won Nationals and Worlds. I'm pretty sure that they did. I think they did win Nationals and Worlds. I wasn't that much into the meta then. Because I was I'm pretty much just kind of an average, kind of, bleh, kind of an average player. So... And then we finally got the balance that brought Light Swarms down. You see? So it, it all depends. You know, we get some cards before Japan does. You know, they haven't gotten Dark Solar Tangu yet. And that's why offering gadgets are doing so well. You gotta look at what Japan's. at what has been winning in Japan. That's like with Six Samurai. They haven't really been winning a lot. Mostly offering gadget has been winning and Herald of Perfection. So that's why Herald might go down to 2. And Ultimate Offering, I think, might go down to 201. It might even get banned, just because offering gadgets are doing so well there, and they have more Exceed cards than we do. And in the new set that's coming out, we're going to be getting more Exceed stuff like Gemini Parl, Inverse Roach, and, you know, it's it's going to really just, like, once the new set comes out, the meta is going to be off the wall crazy. You know, it's like freaking stock market crashing, for God's sake. Anyways, back to the, um, tins. I think I'm pretty much done covering the tens. What time am I rolling at? I'm at ten minutes. Okay. Um, I'm just going to make a part two to this, guys. Uh, I hope you uh, thank you for enjoying this ten-minute video, and uh, enjoy part two, I guess.